Hi, me again. I have one thing left before I can find work and that is to apply for a digital tachograph driver card. So what I thought I would do, the same as I did with the medical and the applying for the category, is I thought that I would show you the form that you need to fill in um, and what the name of it is, the D777B form. Uh, and then I'm going to fill mine in and get it sent off. And hopefully it won't be too long. Here's the form. I'll do a zoomed in version in a minute. And I obtained this from my training company. They provided this with the envelope of where to send it to. So that is great. Um, I'll switch around on the other camera just so you can see. Here we go then. So you can see that it's the D777B form. Application for Digital Tachograph Driver Card. And you can see here that depending on what you're applying for, or, or I should say, which kind of licence you have, um, depends on which sections you need to fill in. So for me, I'm going to be applying for my first digital tachograph card, and I have a GB driving licence, a photo card one, so this is the one I'm going to do. So I only need to fill in two, five and six. But depending on if you have a paper licence or an EU licence, the sections are different for you, so... I'll just give you a quick look. Sorry about the shaky camera. You don't have to attach a picture if you've got a photo card license because the picture on the tachograph card will be the same as your driving license, I have been told. So you just send away the form and then they'll send you the tachograph card already with the photo on because the DVLA already have your details on the system. So you don't have to worry about that. And that's it really. Over on this side, this is just the help sheet of... Um, how to fill it in really quite straightforward you just tear that off down there and you filled it in and then on the back it tells you the price so for a first driver card application which is for me I have to pay a fee of £32 which is fantastic depending on if it's a replacement card exchange card whatever it's all the same form I do believe you can get these from the post office but I guess you're best to get it from your training company. And here you've just got the last part of it, really. So that's that then. Back to this camera. Uh, so you can see there that's just the form. It's quite straightforward, really. Sections 2, 5 and 6 for me, which is just your details. So your driving licence number, your name, address. Section 5 is your contact details, email address, phone number, and then 6 is the declaration. So I declare that the details on this form are correct, so and so, so and so, and then you just sign it and put the date. So that's that, quite straightforward. I'm going to fill this in in a second and then get that sent off tomorrow. Um, and then I think they'll take somewhere that, something like a week to come back, so it won't be long. And then I'm all set for finding work, which is going to be the next kind of series, the next playlist on my channel. Um, I've just got one more video after this one that I'm going to record for this series, which is originally I called the playlist Road to Class 2, but I've changed it now to Getting My HGV Licence. I just got one more video in there where I'm going to talk about how much it cost me for each separate thing to get my license because I know a lot of people who are beginners are wondering or people who are thinking about trucking they're wondering how much does it cost so I'm going to do a separate video um, and upload that one probably tomorrow and then I'm on the quest for work so yeah so far the plan is working I quit my job well I handed in my notice in Easter 
and then I finished teaching at the end of July, the 22nd or 21st was the last day, something like that. And then I finally passed, second time lucky. It's all working at the moment, just need to find work now before the end of this month, which it's only the 6th today, so that should be alright. And then, yeah, onwards and upwards. We'll see what the future brings. Thank you for your support. Thank you for liking and commenting and subscribing to me. I appreciate it. I'm hoping to continue these videos, like I said, for you who are enjoying them. Um, as for now, farewell until the next video.